It's the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. That's not just the sound of that first sip of Morning Joe. It's the sound of someone shopping for a car on Carvana from the comfort of home. That's a good blend. It's time to take it easy, like answering some easy questions to get pre-qualified for a car in minutes. Talk about starting the morning right. Just like customizing your terms so your car fits your budget. Mm, mm, mm. Visit Carvana.com or download the app to experience car shopping the way it should be. Convenient. Comfortable. Ah. Welding instructor Alex DeClaire knows VR training platforms like ForgeFX help students master their skills. There's a big learning curve with welding. Virtual reality simulates that exact muscle memory that they need. Learn more at meta.com slash metaverse impact. You can live out your MasterChef dream when you find a professional on Angie to tackle your dream kitchen remodel. Connect with skilled professionals to get all your home projects done well. Visit Angie.com. You can do this when you Angie that. What is going on, everybody? And welcome inside the lab for the Wednesday episode of Your Source for Fantasy Hockey News. It's the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast. What is going on with these Florida Panthers? Are they in trouble? We'll break it all down, including a whole lot more on today's episode. Your Locked On Fantasy Hockey, your daily podcast on fantasy hockey. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Giddy up, my friends. Scoreboard watching season is officially underway and that's why you're tapped back in to the locked on fantasy hockey podcast shout out to the everydayers making us your first listen every single day today's episode is brought to you by game time download the game time app create an account and use code locked on nhl for 20 bucks off your first purchase my friends it's been a while for a solo episode with your boy you are joining me flip livingstone Steel is on the IR a couple of days, so he's not here to check any of my crazy bold takes in. I don't have any crazy ones, but I've got a lot to talk about on today's episode, and it's just me, my friends, so buckle up. NHL injury news buzz. I'm going to talk about Hurdle, Morgan Riley, quick update on Marcus Foligno. But the meat and potatoes of today, I want to talk about the Florida Panthers, and I want to talk about the Philadelphia Flyers, two teams that have a lot going on around them and not really for good reasons. I'm also going to talk about Shane Wright very quickly because there's an angle here that I think in the Keeper Dynasty realm, fantasy jams need to be pouncing on. We're back with Wednesday's bets. We missed you yesterday. Thank you for joining me for today's episode. Look, very quickly, Morgan Riley is going to be available Wednesday night against the Tampa Bay Lightning. This is big news for a Toronto Maple Leafs club that we know has a haphazard blue line. And regardless of what happens with this Florida Panthers team, and I'll talk about that, whoever they go up against in the first round, they're going to be underdogs. And they need all of their pieces back in there and firing on all cylinders. They're still waiting for Mitch Marner's return. However, Morgan Riley, obviously a big piece for that blue line. Seven goals, 44 assists in 65 games this season. He's been out since March 24th. He should be back in the lineup against Tampa, if not following later this week. More importantly, perhaps, over on the Western side of things, Thomas Hurdle was one of those names that went off at the deadline that we just really did not see coming. Did we expect maybe his time in San Jose to be up? Sure, but not headed to the Vegas Golden Knights, especially when they had already gotten Hannafin and Manta. Now, he could be making his debut Friday against Arizona. I think this is going to be huge for a team that also just sent a very big message to the Vancouver Canucks on Tuesday night to the tune, I believe, of a 6-3 or 6-4 victory a team that they're probably going to go through in the first round. And now they got Thomas Hurdle back. If I'm the Vancouver Canucks and I'm still unsure about what's going on with my goaltending, I know Thatcher Demko has been back on the ice, but he's been skating alone. I might be very concerned about all the good mojo starting to cook for this Vegas Golden Knights team, a team that now is looking like they are rounding into form once again. And look, Thomas Hurdle, a 30-year-old forward who has been a San Jose Shark for his entire career, might not jump off the page, but this is a guy who's put up multiple 60 and 70-plus point seasons in his career, and we know that he can be a valuable fantasy asset down the stretch. 
This could be huge for the Vegas Golden Knights. 15 goals and 19 assists through 48 games this year before getting hurt. I really wanted to mention it because if there are some of those leagues out there that you're running all the way down to the end of the season and you still do have moves to be made, you can add players. Thomas Hurdle has got to be right there at the top of the list because he's going to slot probably right in there in the mix in the top six with the likes of a red hot Jonathan Marcia so and others. So got to mention it in very quickly for the deeper leagues, Marcus Foligno, if for whatever reason you were keeping an IR spot for him in banger leagues or something, I don't know really why it's just on this newsreel list here. I had to fire it off. He's done for the season core muscle surgery, 10 goals, 12 assists and all his pims and his hits. Through 55 games, I know for a fact in my Keeper Dynasty League, he was a player that was rostered. So anyway, just wanted to mention it. TJ Oshie is also out day-to-day. Again, deeper formats. That's just a little bit of a heads up now. I'm going to get to the Philadelphia Flyers. I'm going to get to Shane Wright. I'm going to get to my Wednesday bets. But first, let me talk about this Florida Panthers team because two victories in the last nine games at this time of the season is concerning. It's also more concerning when you take a little bit of a deeper look into how they got there last year. They entered the playoffs last season on the opposite foot. They were on a heater going into the playoffs, and that translated into success also. They really did overachieve. And I'm not trying to take away anything from that run, but when you look at it with a bit of a closer lens, Sergei Bobrovsky, and this is what goalies do in the postseason. However, Sergei Bobrovsky stole a couple of series for them. That's number one. And he was playing at an insanely elite level. I don't think it's fair to think that he's going to replicate that. Matthew Kachuk was playing out of his head. His swagger was permeating that entire lineup, and they were cooking. They were playing with his energy. They were playing with his confidence. And I know he has 80 points, but when we expect triple-digit point seasons out of Matthew Kachuk, something that he's done a number of times now, it's a bit of a downturn season for him too. So headed in, the team overall is struggling. You know, there's a pretty significant drop-off after their main couple of pieces and then their bottom six really not having too much going on. I know Sam Bennett has 18 points or 18 goals. However, let me just say this. Matthew Kachuk not firing at what he was last year. Hard to expect Sergey Bobrovsky to be back at that level. And the team just struggling overall right now. I love Paul Maurice. They still head into the postseason. You know, if they go up against the Toronto Maple Leafs, like I alluded to off the top, I still very much would give the edge to Florida. However, looking at these results in terms of the games that they've lost, you know, they just lost to Montreal 5-3, 6-4 to Toronto. And then you look back at the start of this poor stretch, 4-0 loss to Carolina, 3-0 to Nashville. The offense is running dry on this team and they're getting outgunned. What do the Toronto Maple Leafs do when they're on their game? They outgun their opponent. And if Poppy's cooking and you got Mitch Marner back, And this team is going to have to go toe-to-toe with the Toronto Maple Leafs, one of the best offensive and power play units in the game. That's the only angle that I see the Toronto Maple Leafs being able to take that first-round series. I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole. The point remains, the Florida Panthers are in trouble right now. Only two wins in their last nine games. And at this point in the season, that's got to be concerning. So it's got to be spoken about. Anthony Stellars was left out to dry against the Montreal Canadiens. And that is a tough, tough loss to come off of, especially given how poor Montreal has been this season. However, the rest of today's episode is not going to be poor. It's going to be fire. Hopefully, like the start of it, I'm going to talk about, look, I'm tired of John Tortorella's shtick. I want to talk about the Flyers a little bit. I want to talk about Torch, Shane Wright, my Wednesday bets. However, today's episode, my friends, is brought to you by our friends at Game Time. Make sure you're checking out Game Time because you never want to have a frustrating ticket buying experience for your next big event. That's why you're going to be checking out the Game Time app for all the opening day week games for the MLB and all the other sports that you absolutely love. That's why you got to be checking out Game Time. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code LOCKEDONNHL for 20 bucks off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code. L O C K E D O N N H L for 20 bucks off. Download the Game Time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. What's up, guys? Trey Matthews of Locked On Devils here. And let me tell you about Discover Credit Customer Service. Looking for an assist with your credit card but can't get a hold of anyone? Luckily, with 24 7 US based live customer service from Discover, everyone has the option to talk to a real person 
anytime, day or night. Yep, you heard that right. You could talk to a real human in customer service anytime. Sounds like a real game changer if you ask me. Make the right call and get the service you deserve with Discover. Limitations apply. See terms at discover.com slash credit card. My friends, shout out to everyone holding us down every single day, Monday through Friday. I'll be back tomorrow with one more solo episode before Steel returns. The playoffs are right around the corner. We are going to have everything cooking for you guys in the lead up to the NHL postseason that you need. And look, keep it tapped right here to the pod. And uh, we hope we've been helping the fantasy teams as well. Make sure you're checking out the Locked On 24-hour streaming service. You had to turn down the volume watching ESPN lately or Fox Sports. No disrespect, Stephen A. Make the switch to Locked On Sports today, a free 24-7 sports streaming channel program to bring you every day's biggest stories from the sports world. That's the Locked On streaming service. You know, I got to give that plug. Shout out to the Locked On Network. Listen, I'm tired of John Tortorella. And I know there's been a lot of pundits out there going both ways with John Tortorella. Is this the way he does things? Uh, is his is this shtick played out? You know, you're kind of seeing support for for both sides of the coin in terms of do you think John Tortorella is still a good coach or not? I'm not here to talk about whether I think John Tortorella is a good coach or not because number one, this Philadelphia Flyers team, no one expected them to be sitting in the position that they are in currently. Could they still miss out on the postseason? Sure, but they've been punching above their weight class the entire season. They've been overachieving, and I just don't see it for this roster. And again, this is no disrespect to the likes of Tyson Forster, Travis Konechny, Morgan Frost, Owen Tippett, and some of these players that have had really great seasons. But you look at the bottom six, it's not happening. You look at that blue line, oh my goodness, it's not happening. And the goaltending, obviously, Fedotov coming in, it's it's intriguing. It looks like he's going to have a a probably really good shot at being at least eating half of the minutes here for Philly moving forward. Sounds like Danny Breer does want to ink this tall Russian goaltender to something more long-term. That's already out there, but they just aren't good enough. And when John Tortorella comes out and look, this is a team that <laughs> was still playing pretty good hockey for the most part. Sean Couturier gets benched. I'm just not here for the way that he's been throwing young players under the bus. And no, not by name, but just calling them soft, questioning their ability to get it done at this time of year. They're still holding down the third playoff spot and we expected them to be in dead last. So in the same vein as I don't think they're there just yet. And yeah, there's some interesting fantasy pieces here on the come up. Cam York, I just mentioned Frost, Forster. Those are all players that I have my eyes double peeled on for next season, even Owen Tippett especially Travis Konechny, obviously. Got to get the fantasy plug in there, my guys. Let me get back on track here. It's just a tired process. Stop throwing your players under the bus. Stop being overly negative at all. The sky is always falling for John Tortorella. He seems to just always be placing blame in a million one places when it doesn't need to be done. That's what I'm going to leave at that because also down the stretch here, be wary of where you're deploying some of these fantasy pieces on the Philadelphia Flyers because just given the up and down nature of their last 10 games, and I'm going to bring that up right here, two, five, and three over their last 10, you just want to be careful about how much you're relying on players that probably also overachieved for most of the season. Moving on to another interesting fantasy angle that I think in the old keeper dynasty realm of things, you want to be paying attention to because that's what I like to do, my friends. And when I talk about Shane Wright, I look into his numbers with the Coachella Valley Firebirds of the AHL this season. Very solid name. By the way, he's up in the NHL right now in his first game he popped one. He's playing with Jaden Schwartz and Jordan Eberle. Number one, I don't hate that line. I like that ability for him to play alongside uh, in the middle with two NHL veterans, two guys that look Maybe their best days are behind them. But Jaden Schwartz and Jordan Eberle, I don't hate them as second line, third liners. They got some offensive flair, and they've been producing at a, you know, 40, 50-point clip. I don't have their numbers up, but I'm going to say they're right in that range for the last number of seasons. It's a perfect way for this kid to come back into the NHL and get a little taste. It's expected that he will go back down to Coachella for that Calder Cup run. Last year in the Calder Cup, he had nine points in 24 games for Coachella, so I think they want him to get more of that playoff experience. So this might be more of a long-term move. If you do have a minor eligible slot roster in your Keeper Dynasty League, which I do in mine, he would be the perfect little sneaky stash ad for now because 
He's going to get a good chance to audition here for a couple of games before he goes back down. Number two, he's had a good season in the AHL, 43 points in 56 games. He's also chipped in with penalty minutes, three game winning goals, 148 shots on net. So lastly, this could be sneaky for next season because it looks like they're going to give him a nice chance to audition, like I just mentioned. And then maybe that means he got gets an even better shot out of camp next year to crack this roster. And when you look at it, you know, and I mentioned I like Jaden Schwartz and Jordan Eberle as like peripheral, you know, at week to week ads and they're good like bottom sixers or, uh, you know, in a stretch second liners. This lineup in Seattle is going to be very much crackable for a player in Shane Wright. That has been talked a lot about, but I think is going to be a very solid NHLer. I think he can, can put up the same kind of numbers that he's putting up in the AHL and the NHL. 20 to 25 goals, 20 to 25 assists. That's still solid, and who knows? Sky's the limit for a fourth overall draft pick who, coming into the draft, a lot had pegged at number one. So when there's that kind of talent floating around, I don't want to miss an opportunity to jump on it and maybe get a little sneaky next year when other GMs are slacking in the old Mackin. However, today's episode, we're going to try to not slack anymore because today's episode is brought to you by FanDuel. Shout out to FanDuel Sportsbook. We're loving FanDuel right now. Say goodbye to busted brackets because FanDuel lets you bet on every game of the tourney, whether you're betting on a big upset or a one seed. It's time to go dancing on America's number one sports book. We're using FanDuel for all of our favorite March bets. Whether you're betting on a big upset or a one seed, go dancing. Right now, new customers get $200 in bonus bets if your $5 bet wins. That's 200 bucks to use on point spreads, money lines, and anything include who wins it all. Just visit FanDuel.com slash locked on and bet on college hoops until they cut down those nets. You can live out your MasterChef dreams. When you find a professional on Angie to tackle your dream kitchen remodel. Connect with skilled professionals to get all your home projects done well. Visit Angie.com. You can do this when you Angie that. Here we go, my friends. Speaking of nets, speaking of bets, I've got some bets. I know we left you high and dry the other day on bets, but it's been a bit of an up and down ride for your boy. But I'm doing my best here. So I'm liking tonight's games. Five game board. Got a couple of options here. I'm going to pull up my bets. I'm going to pull up my tabs. I missed Steel. Shout out to all y'all for holding me down. Shout out to the Locked On 24-7 streaming channel. Program for you every single day to bring you the biggest stories without all the screaming. You've been watching too much of Fox Sports or ESPN all day. Head over to the free Amazon Fire TV channels app where the Locked On Podcast Network is streaming 24-7 for all of the top sports stories from around the world. Hello now. We're taking a look at Wednesday night's games. The Tampa Bay Lightning and Toronto Maple Leafs have a very, very big tilt here. I think you're going to see playoff-like intensity from start to finish. I would lean to the under. But also, the Toronto Maple Leafs have been taking it to the Tampa Bay Lightning in regular season action, at least. Over the last number of seasons, 8-2-0 in their last 10 against Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay only has actually one win in their last seven head-to-head against Toronto. And look. They are a good road team of late, four and one in their last five games. But this is going to be one of those kind of turning point moments for, I think, the Toronto Maple Leafs in terms of really pushing into the postseason on a ride. I'm going with those numbers. I'm going with Austin Matthews as well. Anytime goal. And this goes together with backing the Toronto Maple Leafs here. Look, everyone out there knows I'm a Leafs fan. Sue me. Austin Matthews is the best goal scorer in the NHL in the world on the planet, however you want to break that down. Also, in two games this year against Tampa, two goals. In his career in 20 games against the Tampa Bay Lightning, you know, I got that up. He's got 11 goals. So, Poppy, anytime goal, that's one. Leafs on the money line, minus 130. That's number two because do I think it's going to be a close game? Yes. Does Tampa Bay have a lot to play for? Of course. I say the Toronto Maple Leafs have a little bit more to play for because they have been holding down that third spot. You know they don't want to slide and face Boston or the New York Rangers somehow. I don't see that happening. I don't, I'm not trying to say bring on Florida and none of that madness again. The Leafs will be underdogs against whoever they go into the playoffs against. I'm just going to ride with the Toronto Maple Leafs tonight. I'm going to ride with Poppy, who has been cooking. And for my lock of the night, if you're not feeling the Leafs takes, that's fine. Although, I would trust me on those ones too. Please. 
New Jersey Devils ride into the New York Rangers barn after absolutely getting pumped by the Pittsburgh Penguins. They blew the lead. The Penguins came all the way back to score six goals. Crosby had two. Malkin had two. It was a little feel-good night for Pittsburgh fans on what's basically been a pretty bad season. That's going to be really hard to come back from on a back-to-back as well, going into the New York Rangers barn, who are one of the best teams in the NHL. They also are 6-3-1. and one. The Rangers are against the New Jersey Devils over their last 10. So... And I'll throw this out there. The New Jersey Devils have only five wins away from home in their last 15 games. This one is really shaping up to be a great spot for the New York Rangers. So that's why it's my lock of the night. You're going to have to pay some juice here. Rangers on the money line, minus 185. I know there's not a lot, a ton of odd here. Slap that into your favorite parlay. Thank me later. I hope you've enjoyed Wednesday hump day episode shout out to the every dayer shout out to everyone out there make sure you drop us that five star review Spotify Apple wherever you're at smash that subscribe button on YouTube I'll be back tomorrow for the Thursday episode thank you so much for joining us while you're out there make sure you're checking out all of the locked on network for all of your daily podcasting needs much love to everybody out there for tuning in and we'll see you back here again tomorrow You can live out your master chef dream when you find a professional on Angie to tackle your dream kitchen remodel. Connect with skilled professionals to get all your home projects done well. Visit Angie.com. You can do this when you Angie that. Hey, Prime members. You can listen to this Locked On podcast ad-free on Amazon Music. Download the Amazon Music app today.